What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today Apple has released the 6th beta of macOS Sequoia to developers, and hopefully a little bit later but they'll release it to public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We got a couple of exciting things to talk about, let's get started. Alright, so the first one has to do with system settings, so we got a couple of changes in here. The first one is, is that if we were to go to appearance, you can now see that these have now been updated to have the Sequoia wallpapers. So before they would show the Sonoma wallpapers, but now they show the Sequoia wallpapers, which I think looks really nice right here. Now if we go into general then about, and then scroll down right here, we now have an official Sequoia wallpaper. So it's the dark mode wallpaper, so I'm not sure if I need to update that or not to have the dark mode. Yeah, so I'm going to need to update all of my branding on my thumbnails to support this dark mode wallpaper that we have inside of here. Now the next thing is if we go to the wallpaper, wallpaper or screensaver settings, you can now see that the wallpaper that we got inside the previous beta is now selectable, and it is called Sequoia Sunrise. And if we go into the screensaver right here, you can see that it also is called Sequoia Sunrise, and you can now actually select it. So that means if I change it to this one, I can now go back to Sequoia Sunrise, and this should hopefully be the default wallpaper for everyone. Alright, the next change has to do with Safari, because we got a couple of new changes here inside of Safari. So the first one is if we go into Safari, then settings right here, and then go into the tab section, you can see we now had the Sequoia branding right here. It's no longer the Sonoma wallpapers, it's now the Sequoia wallpapers. I think it looks really nice. Alright, the next change is inside of the music app. So if we go inside of the music app right here, and then bring it over right here, you can see that we have a brand new section right here. They actually rebranded the browse section to say new. I'm not sure how to feel about this, but hopefully this actually does show new music instead of the same music that we had for years. Or maybe it's just new music for us, and that's why they call it new. We'll never know, I guess. Alright, the next change has to do with something that is controversial. One of the most controversial features inside of macOS Sequoia is that we get weekly pop-ups if we want to screen record. Now we get monthly pop-ups instead of weekly pop-ups. So I decided to check and see if one of my screen recording apps would prompt me to allow for one week, but now it says allow for one month. So this is a little bit better, but still not as good as having it as forever because if we're allowing screen recording, we should be able to allow it forever. Even if we're allowing it for one month at that point, I know it's just 12 times a year, but still. This should honestly get reverted back to what it was before in Sonoma. And there's not even a toggle in here to turn off the monthly pop-up. So I know the monthly pop-ups will indeed be a lot better, but how much better will it actually be? We'll have to see and wait, but yeah. Now the next change has to do inside the calculator app. So we got one of my suggestions fixed inside of here, where if you go to the programmer calculator, there's no way to go back. Now I'm not sure what they updated in here. I think they made this backspace button a little bit smaller. But if you click on this button right here, you can now switch between basic, scientific, and programmer easily just like that. This button has always been inside the scientific and the basic views, but never inside the programmer views. In order to get out of the programmer view, which I don't think anybody would really want to do, you have to go inside the menu bar before. But now that it's fixed, and now you could just switch between views right away. I'm not sure what they had to change to make sure everything fits, but as far as I can see, it looks like it was the backspace button. Now, the next change is that we got a brand new splash screen inside of the Photos app. So this is what it looks like. New collections, more utilities, and featured photos. So it's a little bit different than we got inside of iOS. But other than that, it looks like the Photos app has remained unchanged mostly. Alright, now let's take a look at storage and RAM usage. So I recently restarted my Mac and took a look at Activity Monitor. It's a little bit different now since I'm screen recording, but upon booting up, it was at 4.9 gigabytes, a slight decrease. Now let's go inside of System Settings and go into Storage right here. We can see that it is 34.96 gigabytes. So I guess adding the Sequoia wallpaper really messed it up. So hopefully this gets fixed inside of a future beta since I'm pretty sure they could remove the Sonoma wallpaper from the files at this point. Now that is everything I could find inside this latest beta of macOS Sequoia. Thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!